Okay, so I've knocked the computer on maybe about 15 seconds ago. Um, two black screens, though the LED backlight is on. Um, <clears throat> Everything is running on the computer. There's a green um, QLED, which is the the boot the boot symbol or the boot drive or whatever. Um, everything else is good. Still nothing on the screen. Um, so I'll do hold down the button to power it off. Um, and then if I power it back on, um, this time, like I say, the second and subsequent starts, it will come straight into BIOS and straight into Windows and stuff. Um, so we'll just give this a second. It's a one beep, it's cycling through its QLED, so everything is okay. And uh, yeah, we'll no doubt see BIOS now in a second. Or maybe not. So this is the first time that I've had uh, two failed startups then. Um, up to now, any time I would click on the power button on and off, the second attempt would boot up no problem. So this is actually the first time now it's failed to start on a second attempt. Um, okay. Let's try it a third time then. So, power off. Um, I'll give it a second or two. Power on. Like I say, up to now, uh, a power cycle like that would would, would fix it um, on, on the second attempt and stuff, but this is the first time it's actually hung um, for a second time. Fine artwork from my daughter. Um, okay, so now we've got the the BIOS screen. That overclocked 71%, by the way. That came about when the Asus Optimizer decided to do its automatic tweaking slash overclock. Um, but to be honest, I've run this with default BIOS as well, or default settings. It made no difference at all. Um, and like I say, while I'm gaming and stuff, everything is everything is all good. Um, yeah, there's, there's the some of the settings um anyway for the boot priority um i know that that's what i was asked for specifically um you can see there it's just one option um and it's the m m2 drive uh, so the intel one terabyte m2 drive is the, the windows drive um the other one in the list there is a 256 gig that i had in my old machine um and then separately not in the list and i don't know if that's right or not um there is a Samsung 500 gig um, SSD. Um, like I say, that's not in the list, um, and I don't know if it should be. Uh, but anyway, um, so I'll just quit that without saving. Um, and yeah, one, I mean, like I say, once we get to BIOS, which we have done, um, we should go straight into Windows without without any problems. And yeah, there's there's Windows, uh, and then yeah, everything from here on will be. We'll be all good. So, yeah, that's that's it. Um, just the usual stuff starting up. So yeah, I'll I'll shut this down. And yeah, if there's anything that you notice that you know, I should be aware of or whatever, uh, let me know. Thanks.